Hi and welcome to Magic Behind the Magic. I'm Steve Wickington and this is my anniversary. This week marks the anniversary of me going full time as a magician and a kids entertainer. It's time to buy. One year as a full time magician, that's like, like, like 12 months. Now I know that being a full-time magician or a kids entertainer is not everybody's dream or goal, but for me it was something that I really wanted to achieve. And believe me, achieving it was not a simple little task. There was a lot of effort went into it and a lot of times when I actually thought, maybe this is just a little bit too hard. But I wanted that dream and goal so much that I always just pushed through those hard times and kept going forward. And now, one year after being a full-time entertainer, I thought it would be a really nice idea to share with you guys some of the things that I enjoy about what I do and why it means so much to me. Of course, the first thing and the most important thing is, is that I love entertaining kids. That is a bonus. And so making a living, a full-time living, out of doing something that I love to do, that is like anybody's ultimate goal. But it is a lot, lot more than just that. Every day I am thankful that I put the effort in to get me to this position. You see, being a full-time magician has given me back control of my life. I am no longer bound to set work times. I now work when I choose and for as long or as short as I choose to. Of course, I can't stop working altogether, but then with this sort of a job, why would I even want to? But having that control means that I can take time out, I can block dates out in my calendar, and I get to spend a lot more quality time with my family. I get to drop the kids at school, I get to pick the kids up from school most days, I get to spend lunch time with my wife, we go out for dinner, sometimes we stay in, and we get to go on holidays regularly. Most people I know who are my age with kids do not have that luxury. Also, I have control of my own income. In the past, I not only had to work X amount of days every week, but I also got paid X amount every week. If I ever wanted more money, it meant I had to ask for a pay rise and get just a small increment more each week. Or if I wanted a lot more money, I would have had to work a second job. So now I not only have the control over how often I work, but I also have control over how much money I can make. When I was working for a boss, it was sometimes a real struggle to stay motivated. The goals that I achieved were beneficial to the company that I worked for, but realistically did very little for myself. It's not really a great motivation when you get paid the same amount regardless of how much extra you may achieve each week. But now, my goals and my motivation are personal. When I achieve, I achieve for my own satisfaction. It is a benefit to not only myself, but also my family. Being full time means that every day I get to achieve and measure my success. My work is creative, exciting, and satisfying. All that gives me two big factors. One, I'm a lot, lot happier. And who wouldn't be? I mean, making kids happy and having fun doing it is definitely the best job I have ever had. And the second factor is that I sleep so much better. The stress that my last job gave me was crazy. I was always waking up through the night stressing over things that had to be done and how I was going to do them. I think that's what gave me the gray hair. But now every night when I go to bed, I go to bed feeling great because I know that I have put in a good day's work, I have achieved and I have reached a certain measure of success. And then I sleep soundly because the stress level is a lot, lot less than it was in my old job. Sure, I still have those times when I freak out over certain things, but you know, because it's solely up to me, then I am in control and I can control it. 
That means that if it's going to happen, regardless of how hard or how lengthy or what difficulties there may be, if it's going to happen, then I am the one who is going to do it. So becoming a full-time magician for me is really, really satisfying. And for all of those people who told me that it wasn't possible, I have just one thing to say. Yes, it is. Sure, it was a little more difficult than I first expected, but once I overcame some of those big obstacles, everything else seemed to fall into place. Was it worth it? Yes. Would I do it again? Yes. Would I recommend it to others? Yes. So if going full time is your goal, then I say, go for it. And if you're already full time, enjoy it. And if you don't think going full time is something that is right for you, then I say, that's cool. I actually thought that once myself too. And while you don't have to go full time, I'm certainly glad that I ended up following that path and becoming a full time magician. So thanks for watching and thanks for sharing the celebration. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and like if you like. Until next time, keep growing your business and reaching for your goals. Don't forget that down there, if you haven't yet subscribed to the seven point checklist and the newsletter for Magic Behind the Magic, that's where you do it. Just hit on there, follow the links, fill in the form and you'll start getting information straight away. Over there, that's a video. If you haven't seen that video, you can watch that. That's for subscribing to the YouTube channel, Magic Behind the Magic, but that's for subscribing to the newsletter.